Hi, I'm Corey Hans with Greenmark Equipment. I've been a service technician for over seven years, and today we are going to be reviewing the calibration and documentation systems on your 60 and 70 series machines. With this 60 series machine, the documentation will be functional through the original Green Star display and calibrations performed through the corner post. We will start by reviewing the original Green Star monitor. Here is page one, so we have our main page with our yield, our moisture, and our rows. We will start by going into our info and into tracking. So here we can select info for our field, our headings, our point A latitude or point B longitude. We can also see our recent problems for fault codes or any issues that have come about throughout the season. Going back and going back again, we'll go into our auto track. Here we can see our software version, recent problems for stored codes and diagnostics to help us resolve issues that happen throughout the season. We'll hit back, we'll hit back once more, we'll go into our harvest monitor. We can view and clear harvest monitor information and transfer to database. Diagnostics can also be performed on our moisture mass flow or combine networks and see recent problems in one easy push of a button. We'll go back, back once more. We'll go into performance monitor where we can see our total and service hours. Hitting back, we'll get into our green star display, see our software versions, recent problems, CAN bus analyzer and display diagnostics. Going back and we'll go into setup. Here we can set up our tracking for our AB line. We can turn it on and off and ensuring our track spacing is appropriate. Hitting back, we'll go into our auto track, our activation code and our steer sensitivity and our auto track calibration. Harvest monitor allows you to select your farm field and crop type, your header type and yield calibration. Getting into our yield calibration we can calibrate standard or low flow. We will be able to view when our yield calibration has started or stopped and how much weight we have accumulated. We can put in our scale weight for how much was radioed back from the elevator and then our calibration factor. When you have completed a yield calibration, this calibration factor will change automatically based on the system's parameters. We will go back, go into moisture. For moisture, we can see our moisture correction our alarm, our curve, and our calibration, and how many samples we are making per minute. So we can select that from one to two to off to max, which is going to be three cycles per minute. Getting into our moisture correction, we can see our fixed moisture value, our moisture correction, and our advanced moisture correction. Fixed moisture allows you to input a value that will be non-active throughout the harvest season but will allow you to continue to harvest if a moisture sensor problem has arose. Moisture correction will be for your actively responding moisture meter so you can adjust your moisture in cab based on the elevator's response. You'll hit back, back once more. A record stop height for recording when your header is engaged and you want to adjust your start and stop height, that is also in the harvest monitor. Hitting back, getting into system settings, here we can change our language, time, and date format. In our green star display, we can also change the light and our display address. Going into page two will bring us to our run page layout if any inconsistent results within your harvest monitor, you can reset your run page. Going back to the setup monitor, we will hit run and you can now continue harvesting.